Hey guys, it's Dry's Daylight here and welcome back to another Ninja Monkey streamer support video. Today I'm going to be going through some important information and some things that you can do within the server that will benefit you as a streamer, straight off the bat. Uh, we're going to be going through some, some Twitch important information, so the legislation around music and copyright laws, plus we'll be going through muting tabs. We will also have a look at linking your Twitch to your Discord, which is very, very, very important. So you can show in the go live section. And finally, we'll be bringing up Lurker TV. Get started with the music legislation laws, just to make sure you're safe and you're doing the right things. So next to me is the legislations which you can find on the Twitch uh, website. It goes through what you can and cannot play on your stream. Just get rid of those bloody headphones. Uh, and we, it goes through what you can and cannot play on your stream. So first and foremost, I'm going to go through the things you can do. So you can do music owned by you, original music that has been created and written by yourself. You can do music licensed to you. So if you have authorization from the artist to play that music, you can input that on to your stream. There is also some websites out there and Spotify also has a list of over 500 tracks which are licensed for you to use on Twitch. I'll drop some links below in the channel um, so you can have a look at those if you need to. And then finally you can do Twitch Sing performance. So Twitch Sings is still a thing. That program and that is all licensed completely to be used on Twitch. So any tracks within that you can sing on stream. Now that's it. That's all you can do in terms of what you can play now on your Twitch streams. Um, otherwise you will probably get a notice and you your stuff could get taken down. Now, things you cannot do, which is obvious, is pretty much everything else. So you can't put any track on in the background. You can't listen to radio shows in the background. You can't do DJ sets with mixing up music. That's no longer allowed. You can't do karaoke performances at all, unless it's Twitch Sings. That's the only karaoke you can do. You can't do lip sync performances. So you can't play music in the background and sing along to it and kind of lip sync it. Um, you can't do visual musical depictions. I think I don't. I'm not really 100% certain on that, what that means. But just read that, and hopefully you can understand it because I, I really don't. Uh, but then, you, and you can also can't do cover song performances as well. So, like I said, the only things you can do is music owned by you, music licensed to you, and Twitch sings performances. And like I said, I'll drop some links below for you to have a look at those things. Okay. Thanks. So that was the legislations. The next thing I'm going to talk about is muting your tabs. Now, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial video on how we go through that right now. So muting your tab is actually really, really simple. Uh, I currently use Opera as my web browser and it's already built into it. Uh, you can use Google Chrome and Internet Explorer to do this, but you may need to download some extensions for it, which you can Google and find. Now, it's very much a, simply, a simple case of just right clicking on the tab you want to mute and then just going down to mute tab. But like I said, what you need to also make sure you do is that you do not lower the volume of the stream that you are watching as you are lurking or watching it as your view will not be counted. Now, that is so, so, so important. So just make sure you mute the tab like I've just showed you while you've got your streams up or all four streams that you've got. Remember, you can only have a maximum of four streams open at any one time. So don't lower the volume on the stream. Keep it all the way up and just right click and mute the tab. The next thing we're going to talk about is linking your Discord to your Twitch. Uh, it's very important. You need it. You need it. And you really need it. So go take a watch now. So this is how to link your Discord to your Twitch. Now there's a few things you need to do. The first thing you need to do is go into the connections within the user settings. And the user settings can be found in the bottom left hand corner of the Discord screen on PC. Which, but it also may be slightly different on a mobile application. So go into your connections. You might not see all this bit at the bottom yet, but you should see all of this stuff. Uh, and all you need to do is click on the Twitch icon. It will take you to the Twitch page and it will ask you to authorize it. You do that and it will come onto your thingy. Also be sure to any link up any other accounts that you wish to link up uh, at the same time. You might as well, it's only gonna help you and will display on your profile within Discord. The next thing you also need to make sure that you do is that you go to streamer mode. This is also very important. And let me just move my head out of the way. Uh, you probably can't see that, but you need to in make sure you select the automatically enable disable. Don't worry too much about enable streamer mode. As soon as you load up streams OBS, Discord will know that you are going into streamer mode and it will automatically pick that up. If it hasn't, then feel free to go and manually enable it but just select that automatically enable disable. 
Finally, and the last thing I want to mention is game activity. Make sure your game activity is displayed as well. Um, so make sure that's also displayed as cur currently running as a status status message, uh, which is what you need to do. Which is in all those three things, it should work and you should be able to show in the go live section within our Discord, which is right above my head. I can't point, it's so hard to point the camera. There, see this? Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. This is the go live section. So linking up your Discord enables you to do just that. And that's it. Any questions? Uh, go to the tech support feedback section in the Discord or at the tech support feedback if you are still struggling with it. We will try our best to help you so you can get the most from this Discord. And I will say that the now live section is the best place for you to be. Spamming your links. People don't look at the links. They look as soon as they enter the Discord right in that right hand side to see who's live and they load up them goddamn streams and get them cool. Viewing. Uh, okay, so the final thing I want to talk about is Lurker TV, which is a one-tab solution which allows you to view a plethora of streams within the community. This tab, however, does only host and show the streams that have the app streamer support role, which you can pick up if you want to support streams within the community more actively in the role section within the Ninja Monkey Discord channel. Just for, It's at the top, underneath the NMSS guide, uh, slightly towards the bottom. You need to react to that role if you want to take up, and you will be notifications as we point you towards the streams as well um, so get that lurker TV running I'll put a link below to the lurker TV um, for now and we will also be having it on our own dedicated website which is currently in the mix and thank you so much to Colonel Black within the community for innovating the lurker TV and or also now working on our new and improved website but there'll be more on that to come I hope you've enjoyed this video guys I hope it gives you a lot of information if you're new or old and I hope that it helps you grow your streams. Now, all this is super important. So take care, guys. Uh, until next time, Drysdale is here. Ninja Monkey out.